Will the roller coaster ever end for the Ichi Salsa family? I don't know. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel, guys. It's me, Irvin, with another chapter review uh, for you guys. Um, it's going to be on chapter 47, I believe. Um, yes, 47 of the Ichinosa family's Deadly Sins. Um, roller coaster of a chapter. Um, if you haven't read it, it's the most current one out. Hopefully, by the time this video releases, there's no more chapters. But if there is, then I have to react to 48. As soon as it releases, but this is the most current out. It released just two days ago, um, time of, of recording. Uh, uh, and uh, yeah, it's uh, intense, 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 quite a bit. Um, before anything, guys, if you haven't done so by now, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Give some love by commenting, liking, and sharing. You guys can follow me on social media, and uh, you guys can also uh, give some love to the channel by watching the other Ichinosa Family Deadly Sense videos, as well as other series that I have. Uh, I am looking for a new series to give my chapter reviews for, so if you know of anything that I should be reviewing, please let me know in the comment section, because uh, I have a gut feeling that this one's also coming to a close. I just finished Kingdom of Z, um, so yeah, I need some series to give some reviews, so uh, let me know what I should be reading and reviewing. Okay, let's talk about this chapter. Um, so, Sachi, which is the grandma, um, she woke up, it was, I, I didn't realize it was a big deal until this chapter because i have forgotten that she kind of went into like almost a self-induced coma but not really self-induced but she went into a coma right so the fact that she woke up and she was there to slap her son into basically thinking straight uh was was a miracle and i didn't realize how much of a miracle it was so uh first of all great uh that that all is great and dandy um uh, so from there we uh, we see them amongst them essentially kind of all apologizing to each other we get the story of how the dad find found out what uh the grandpa was studying and he didn't really understood what it was but he basically gave them the drinks to to basically get into a sleep coma and that's how they ended up in the dream and they ended up having this joint dream he himself says i don't understand the science behind it i just i went with it you know i found it i went with it and i thought that that is what we needed now um sachi the grandma she in a way gets upset um because of what the grandpa was doing behind, not just her back, but the entire family back. So see, she goes into his uh, study room where he has all his research and she just goes at it and starts ripping the pages and stuff into pieces. And everyone kind of freaks out at first, but she's like, you know what? When he wakes up again, I'm gonna thank him for the dream, but that's it, we you know we don't need this anymore. So uh, Subasa helps out, the dad helps out. They kind of have a little moment of just relief of what's happening. And um, they continue, essentially days pass, I feel like in between of them trying to recover everything that's gone wrong. We kind of see them like there's bills to pay, there's a house to clean, you know, and everyone kind of is, they're not as happy as they were in the dream, but they're not arguing, they're not fighting like they were before the dream. So it is it is going for the better. And then uh, mom and dad have a heart to heart with Sota. They apologize. They said, hey, we are, we're gonna try our best to now listen to you, to be there for you, to help you in any way that you need. And if that means you leaving the house and having to do your own life, then so be it, right? Um, which I think for any parent, that's hard to say. Um, 
any parent, any parent that loves their child. Uh, that's hard to say um, because you don't want them to leave. You really don't. You you want to be there to protect them, and you feel that the best way to protect them is for them to be close to you. Um, I experience that with my kids now. I don't like when they go off and play on their own, and I don't know what's happening, what's going on, and it's one of those things that I have to trust myself as a father that I did the best that I could to raise a child that's going to know what to do if something does end up going wrong, right? Same thing with these parents. They they know that Sota is not a bad person down down deep inside, but there's trauma. There definitely is. Now, Subasa overhears this. He knows that Sota's leaving because Sota decides that he wants to leave. He says he needs to go finish some some business, unfinished business, which I'm assuming he needs to go and basically talk to the boy and woman he lived with through the summer. Um, they decide to go on a trip which um, it's on the beach trip, and they, take, they even take Grandpa on the wheelchair. Granted, Grandpa is unconscious still. Uh, Sota decides to stay. He, he realizes that there is a peace amongst them. It's not tension anymore. It's not fake happiness anymore. So he's still grumpy. He's still the grumpy one, but he definitely knows that there has been change and there will be change. And so they start playing a fun family game in the car, naming stuff, and um, they name a monkey, and they're like, hey, there's a monkey in the middle of the road. And then the unexpected happened. Now, I, I will say, I'm reading this chapter, and I'm like, is this the last chapter? Did we finally conclude everyone saying sorry? Everyone kind of is closing their their part. Which, by the way, we didn't we didn't really see anything of Shiori her growing up. We didn't we didn't get to see her apologizing to anyone or confessing what she's been doing or anything like that. But I understand now why because we hit the scene, which is part of my thumbnail. They go into another car crash, and get this, Subasa wakes up, um, wakes up, and he is again in the hospital with everyone. So, uh, are they in a dream still? Maybe. <laughs> are they in a dream again? I don't know. It doesn't seem like no one was laced this time. This time it seems like it was an accident. Um... But it definitely I don't I don't know at this point. I really don't. Uh I, I'm I'm hoping that they're not back in the dream and it's the author's way of playing a joke, but like, oh they got they really got in an accident again. And um but everyone woke up don't worry or you know whatever it was but if it is a real accident and they they're not in the dream i would say grandpa is probably dead um that he yeah he's not he was not in good condition first of all and then being in a car crash like that yeah he's probably didn't he probably didn't uh you know survive that and and i'm from what i saw i'm go back i see uh, Sachi, the grandma, uh, the mom, Shiori, the sister, Sota, the, the brother, and then the dad. There is no grandpa in in the bedside, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it's just another of those chapters that left me wanting more, and unfortunately, there isn't more time of recording obviously so hopefully by sunday we get this other episode sorry chapter and i can review it for you guys on monday so thank you guys so much for watching this if you haven't done so by now subscribe to my channel give it some love by commenting liking and sharing and i will see you next time like always don't be strangers see you guys